Good morning, it's a beautiful sunny day. It's June the 30th, it's a Saturday. And today I'm working um, alongside the Mental Centre in Kingston. And today I get to go and look around their amazing shops, do some shopping. I'm gonna be looking for some summer holiday stroke festival uh, clothing today, I think. Yeah, I think that's what I need. Although I don't have any festivals cemented in. You know what my schedule's like, they always pop up and I'm always at you know, quite a few over the summer, so I expect that to continue. I'm also taking a competition winner uh, around the shops as well. They won the personal styling competition, so they get me for an hour and basically I do whatever they like, whether it's carry their bags, get them different sizes while they're in the changing room, give my honest styling opinion, whatever they want really. So that's gonna be really fun. Apart from the three years that I was at uni um, in Southampton, I have lived here in Weybridge my entire life. So as long as I can remember, uh, the Bentall Centre has been my go-to um, shopping centre. So it always has a piece of my heart. But in the last couple of years, it's brought the shops in that I used to sometimes just wait for London trips to go and visit the likes of Zara um, and other stories. But now everything is in Kingston, so I don't need to spend money on my train ticket anymore to get to London. So it's getting better all the time. And they've also got a Yo Sushi, which is my absolute favorite. And I'm hoping to go there today. They've got a new mango store. So I'm gonna focus on that because I love mango. And I haven't seen the Bentall Center mango yet. So that's exciting. Probably Zara, probably H&M, probably and other stories and probably look quick looking cos as well. So it's quite quiet at the moment, which is great for a Saturday. So I'm going to start planning my plan of action. And Zara is right in front of me, so I'm thinking I might go in there first. I've got an appointment at NYX um, Cosmetics in a bit, so I think I've got enough time to have a quick mooch in Zara, get a good head start on my Zara potential splurge uh, before I get my face done. Oh God, I see sale signs. There's so many things I want already. It's almost a little bit overwhelming, but I've got to stay on target. So I'm looking for festival stroke holiday things. So I mustn't get distracted by things that don't fit into that box. Oh God, earrings. No, that doesn't avert the eyes. Um, I've got to do this systematically because this store is really big as well. So I'm going to try and start at one corner and make my way over rather than doing it in my usual haphazard fashion. Loads of really cool print tees at the moment as well, which I think I'm going to get sucked into winning at life. I don't think this is applicable to me, although today you could argue that. Shopping for my job, that's not bad, is it? Oh, this one is very applicable. Look at the gorgeous embroidery detail on the back of these jackets. Now they're quite festival-y. Love those. My parents lived in Mexico um, before they had me, so they have lots of beautiful artisanal embroidered things at home. So I've grown up with stuff like this. So I'm always a little bit attracted to it. Oh, look, tassels as well. That's very festival-y. This is the jacket I'm wearing right now. As you see, it's a very oversized kind of boyfriend fit, but because it's got this belt as well, if you want to nip it in a bit and make it a bit more of a feminine silhouette, you can do that as well. And that's in the sale for $29.99. Love this t-shirt. Look at those lovely colors. How cool would this knit dress look in somewhere like Joshua Tree or Coachella with some gladiator sandals and a straw bag? Oh, love that. Look at the cute little mirror detailing and the pom-poms. That's really cute, but I can tell you already my mum would end up stealing that from my wardrobe and I'd never see it again. So it's almost a pointless purchase, but it is absolutely adorable and a great festival item. So many textures and prints to choose from. Ooh, 
Okay, how cool is that? Okay, that's on my definitely maybe list. More cute tees. I can't have them all though. I like the message on this one. And this one. It's all fabulous. So I'm just in Nyx and I'm about to have my makeup done so I'm going to remove my makeup now so she can start afresh and sort out this very tired, probably sunburned face. Oh, that feels refreshing. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'll see me in a second looking a lot, lot better. There's my bare face. <laughs> hopefully she'll hurry back and sort this out very soon. I think we're going for, by the looks of it, a glowy summer look. These are the products she's got out. I like the look at these because I really like the kind of highlighty, uh, dewy look at the moment rather than the winter mattes. So that looks cool. So we've put on the pore filler. And look, no pores. <laughs> it's a miracle. I just found out I should be washing my brushes at least once a week and I don't do that but um, this is a really great product you can use if you don't have much time but you want to look after the hygiene and quality of your brushes so tip for you there. I've gone for a natural look slightly darker than my actual skin colour um, but she wanted to, my freckles to show through so like I said quite a liquidy foundation um, but still good coverage. My skin is done, I've got uh, a pinky blusher on, I've got a setting spray that's kind of dewy and glowy, and now we're going for a mega watt highlight. I'm going for it today. <laughs> right, let's go. <laughs> so oh, what's happening? I'm going to get a finger and like blend it in. Oh. <laughs> that's the best highlight I've ever had. I know, it's beautiful. And then we're going to add some powder on the top, so it's going to be even stronger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do the nose highlights or not really? Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> not sure I should be highlighting my beak, but never oh, mind. Which one for my colouring do you think is best? I will go either gold or pink, or like mix them maybe, three? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just do. <laughs> Let's mix them all three. We're going for a strong glow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Huge movement, I think. <laughs> We're going for the eyeliner now. We're going for a pink to match my jacket. So I've got the pink eyeliner on now. This product here. It's fun, isn't it? This is the competition <laughs> winner, Nat. Are you excited to shop? Very excited. Can't wait. Let's get cracking. <laughs> so I'm in Zara. I've got myself 10 pieces of festival stroke holiday things to try on. So I'm going to show you what they look like. Hopefully you'll agree with my final decisions. Let's go. First up is these uh, little shorts in a kind of a medium denim. They're a little bit big on the waist, but I think I actually want that because on holiday I tend to eat a lot <laughs> and I want room and uh, room for give. And um, yeah, I think they're really comfy. So they're a possible and they are 19.99 potential. And they're not too short. It doesn't show the bottom of my bum cheek hanging out. So for me, that's a big plus point. Next up is this tie-dye top, which is pretty cute. This is in the sale as well. Quite like that. I quite like it with the shorts as well. Oh, I think I'm going to have a nightmare making a decision. Okay, next up a little slogan tee that I thought was cute. I really like yellow at the moment. What do we think? I don't know. But do I like it enough to spend my budget on? Next up, this little gypsy cotton top. And this is a definite yes for me. I've been looking for something like this for a while. I think it's really cute. What do you think? Don't know why I'm asking, you can't reply, but. Yeah, I think I like this one. 
Again, room for big lunches, which is good. Next up is this dress, which is very silky, very slinky, and then it's got these lace details here. I like it, but it's the sort of dress I'll wear, and mum will tell me, you're not going out there, you're wearing your underwear. Um, it's got really nice back to it as well. I really like it, but will I have the confidence to wear it? Any family dudes? Probably not. My decision has been made. I've had one of those things where I've got stuck in my dress. I think that always tells you what you need to know. If you've got the wrong size, do not buy a bought. <laughs> oh, it's always scary. You think you might be just found here years later, trapped in a dress. Oh. Next up is this. I think it's a dress, but I thought it'd be really cute with a strappy top underneath, teamed with some denim cutoffs for a festival or for a beach. So what do we think of this one? quite Saint-Tropez, I think, but also kind of hippy and boho. It's a bit um, chesty, but I quite like it, I think. Don't look, I cause mess wherever I go, it's dreadful. We've just spent quite a long time in Zara. There was so much, wasn't there? <laughs> Loads in there. It's such a nice shop. But we're, we're, you know, taking our time because we've got a few more shops to go to, so we're en route to Mango now. What are you looking for in Mango? Oh, quite like to find a dress, so yes. fingers crossed. For a wedding. Yeah, not your own wedding. Not, not a wedding, wedding dress. sadly, no, but uh, yeah, lovely guest. Yeah, just here. something for the summer. Oh, what what colour? Any preference? Uh, maybe white. Oh, something like that, yeah. Show off the tan. Try and get a tan, sure. <laughs> Rival the bride. <laughs> a potential purchase already. <laughs> we'll be in here two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> that is lovely. I'm loving all the neutral tones at the moment though. That with a little straw bag and little sandals. Oh. What do we think about these glasses? I kind of like them. Both just discovered that Mango actually do the best sunglasses ever. Ah. <laughs> so we're just so nice. having a try on session but I think some of my budget for today is going to end up going on <laughs> these pink ones. Yes. Super nice. The accessories here are generally really nice, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. Oh, like Matt, I spotted a mustard coloured bag. Humana, humana, humana. It's nice as well. Very cute. Very cute. You wanted some nude shoes, didn't you? Yeah. They're quite high. How do you do in that height? Not great as I'm very tall. Yes, so I need are. to do a little bit of a, yeah. Yeah, more of a block to heel. Yeah, support <laughs> the weak ankle. <laughs> okay guys, we found the most spectacular dress. Look at this. Navy and mustard in a slinky silk. <gasps> it looks like it would have a really nice silhouette as well. Okay, Nat, Hi. I'm telling you as your personal shopper, you have to try it on. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Do it. <laughs> Got it.
about finished our mains and the lovely waitress has persuaded us to have a pudding so we got some mango ice cream on the way but if that I'm really full I figure it will cleanse the palate and we'll feel a bit more refreshed and ready to go and continue shopping. Oh it's been a delicious lunch, thank you Yo Sushi. can always rely on you guys. The problem is there's more things passing me by that I'm thinking oh maybe one more little bowl. Ice cream balls. Oh. Yeah. You see the ice cream inside? Mm. Oh, look, that highlight's still popping from it. So, we're just going into um, And Other Stories now, and Nat has never been in our, And Other Stories, and I've told her it's going to blow her mind, and she's going to absolutely love it. Oh, God, I've already fallen in love with another pair of sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> These pink ones are lovely, aren't they? Oh, oh. Wait. Oh. Actually Absolute movie star. How gorgeous are these little heart earrings? Oh my god, how do you like Oh, cute. Their jewellery is so good at the moment. Look at this little palm leaf bracelet. Oh, Nat keeps finding new things that I need in my life. <laughs> I'm realising she is an enabler. <laughs> all these beautiful colours in another stories. I'm loving all the tangerines, the satsumas, the yellow ochre. So pretty. Look how cute this bag is. I love these trousers. That's a nice top. Nice wrap, that's flattering on the waist when it's a little wrap as well, isn't it? I'm really liking these headband things, they're very 60s, 70s. Oh, I've definitely ruined that for that poor model. So pretty. My boyfriend wishes I bought this stuff. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that. polka dot skirt! It's so adorable. So we're having a little mooching cos now. What I always love about cos is that everything is set out in a certain way. So they have pieces together that could complement each other or work well together. They have things that are kind of in the same colour palette. It's just laid out in a really good way that makes you feel calm about shopping. It's not daunting. It's um, just user friendly I'd say. Um, so I'm just going to do a little a circle of the whole shop, get my bearings, and then I'll find out which areas I want to focus on. Look at this lovely pink section here. That glorious. They always have really cool socks as well, and I always think it's a really cool way to just make your festival outfit pop a bit. So you could be wearing your wellies or, or your boots, your waterproof boots, and then just have a flash of colour poking out. It looks really cool. Here's some more really cool socks. These ones are glittery ones. How cool is that? I also always say you can't go wrong with a Breton tee. Put that with some really nice uh, like Levi's cut off shorts and denim shorts. Red scarf just for a bit of colour. It always looks great. They do some lovely denim here at COS too. Really soft, really nice shade of blue as well. That kind of mid blue colour. Lovely. I think because it's really good if you are like minimalist dressing, you don't like anything too fussy, if you like just really well made um, basics, really well made classic pieces, I think this is a really good shop for you. If you don't want to go for the standard navy or black breton, just go for a really nice vibrant colour like this tangerine one. We're in h &M now and we are overwhelmed yet again because there's so much stuff that we want. Lots of really good festival stuff in here though, lots of cute bardo tops. Oh god, I've seen some really good denim cutoffs over there as well. Cute little gingham pieces. Lots of different shorts. We're at the occasion air area of Bentles now because Although Nat has found loads of really nice options in Mango and Zara, we just want to check here because there's a really good sale on and they always have really good like wedding stuff, don't they? And yeah. Evening attire. So God, there's so many nice colours at the moment. This is not right. 
we both love the print on this phase eight uh, jumpsuit. Look how lovely that fabric is. Okay, a little break from shopping at the Double Tree here in Kingston and we're gonna have a couple of cocktails. We've got to eat it, haven't we? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, some shopping to do then. Yeah, but we'll be going back feeling really jolly and sitzed up, which would be nice. Oh, it's a hot day. Cheers. <laughs> I'm gonna have my first sip. Oh, that's gonna be very easy to drink. <laughs> Yummies. Oh, yes. Needed. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> we finished our time at the Bental Centre, um, so we're gonna go home and probably try all our outfits and stuff. I mean, that's what people usually do when they go shopping. But we've had a lovely day of shopping, we've had lovely cocktails, lovely sushi, so a lovely day. Fab so, day. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Bental Centre. Bye. Back home now. Cool, I'm shattered. It's amazing how tiring shopping is. I'm not complaining though, I had a really lovely day. Lovely day shopping with Nat and she's very happy with her purchases. She's already sent me a video of her trying them on at home. Hi Sophie, really enjoyed uh, spending the day shopping with you. Wanted to show you one of the outfits that I bought uh, in Mango with my prize, so here it is. If you can see it there, it's a nice black dress, really fitted. Um, I think it is uh, just such a nice dress, something for all occasions as well. Um, I could definitely wear this to work, I could definitely wear this out. Um, it really is sort of exactly what I was looking for um, today, to be honest. So really grateful for all the help that you gave me today. A long jumpsuit from Mango. Um, I know I was originally looking for a dress, but actually this really won me over. It fits so well. Um, good for all occasions, lovely colour as well, it's one of my favourites, so thank you so much again. I'm going to have a bit of a try on session with all my clothes tomorrow, so I think I'll continue vlogging tomorrow so you can see what it looks like when I'm at home and when I'm kind of styling it out of an unflattering changing room. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with me today and I'll see you in a bit. I'll show you everything I bought at the Bental Centre. So first up are these sunglasses from Mango, an oversized cat eye with a pink frame. Then there was this gypsy bardo top from Zara. These super comfortable denim shorts which I've rolled up a couple of times. Um, they don't expose my bum cheeks and they're just really comfortable. They're from Zara. And then this top from And Other Stories, which really reminded me of that brand that you always used to see in Newquay called Fat Willies. It's got a bit of a retro 80s feel to it. This was a piece featured on the Bental Center Try It On edit. And it's a long line belted denim jacket in this lovely soft pink. I just like that it's a bit different to the average jacket. You've got really oversized sleeves, which you can fold up, and it's got the belt if you want to nip in the waist a little bit. Lastly, this dress, which like I said in the changing room, I thought would make for a really good kind of uh, cover-up caftan, duster coat type of thing. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what your must-haves are for shopping this summer. And I'll see you in a video soon. Bye.